I'm Nelleke Vroef, an artist from the Netherlands, and I'm happy to be here in Kids Art Week because I love kids art. Today we're going to work on a sidewalk crack. I chose one from the PDF from Carla. It's this one. And what do we need? We need a black color pencil. We need a red color pencil. We need some scissors. We need some glue. We need some uh, two colors construction paper. You can choose your color, the color you like. And we need some thicker paper to glue on. So now we put everything aside because we can start. I here have this sidewalk crack and I'm gonna mark the lines with a black pencil. So here. And you don't need to do it exact. But follow the lines here and mark, make some shapes here. And here's another one. And here is a a big one. So, and here is another one, and here, you only have to trace the cracks. Um, well, I think we have enough. And now you take the scissors and we're going to cut them out. So, and it doesn't matter if you go a bit out of the lines, because it's only a shape and it doesn't need to be, it don't need to be precise. If you're not used to using scissors, you can ask your father or your mother or anyone else, an adult, to help you. I'm sure they will. So, and we're gonna cut them out. So we have all kind of small pieces of sidewalk cracks. Shapes. So, oops. So if you go over the line, it doesn't matter. Do it like this. Here we have another one. So now we have here some shapes. Put this aside. And now we take our uh, thicker paper and we're going to put the shapes on the thicker paper. And what we are going to do now is to make an animal from it. So try something. Maybe this can be an ear and this can be an ear. And here his body. Arms, maybe a, a leg. So you can um, immediately be satisfied, but you also can try something else. So uh, make this a head and maybe some ears. Oops. So, so you can play a bit with the shapes and see what animal will appear. I think I like the bigger head better. So I'm going to go back to that. Look, his ear. This is nice. Um, now, body. I think I like him. And then you can see where you want to place him on the uh, 
paper because now he's a bit high on the paper. So I want to put this a bit downwards. So I think I like this. So now I'm going to glue it down. Take the glue and glue it in. Here, a very big head, and his ear hanging down, and one ear standing up. Look, his body. Maybe a bit to the side. So, yes. And, well, maybe first do the leg. And here's an arm. Oops. So. And another arm. So here's my animal. But my animal doesn't have eyes. So now I'm gonna draw some eyes. Here. With a black pencil, I draw an eye and a pupil and some lashes, eyelashes. And I'm going to cut it out. So, here's one eye. But I think he will need two eyes. So, I draw another one. Do it here. Some eyelashes. Okay. And we cut it out. Oops. Let's see. Oh, where's my, my eye? Ah, here. <laughs> okay. Look. They are not the same size, but that doesn't matter. And I also want to give him a, a snout, so a mouth. So I make a nose and a mouth, a real animal snout. So I'm going to cut this out. Oops. Okay. Um, and what I also gonna do, because I like that always, I'm gonna make some red cheeks. I think I think that will shoot him. Sh shoot. He he will be look nice with them. So I'm going to cut them out. Oops. Wait. To make it easier, I first cut a smaller piece. So now it's easier to cut. So. Here's one cheek. And another cheek. Okay, and what you can do now is to look for where you place the eyes. You can place them high in his head, you see, or you can play de place them low in his head. Then you get another expression, another 
character. What do I like? What do I like the most? Put them here. You see what a difference it is? Or put them here. I think I like this. Yeah. So what is nice if you uh, play with collage, you can, you can move it and you can play with it. You can um, make other expressions. But now we're going to glue it down. Okay, there's one eye. Well. Okay, and his mouth. Oh, maybe I didn't try to put the mouth high up or down. High up. I think I like it here. Yeah, it's cute. So now a red cheek. Oops, glue. <laughs> okay. And now I think I, you know, I give him a name. I like that. Uh, I call him Barry. And I think Barry will need a t-shirt, because now he's naked. I think um, he likes yellow. Barry likes yellow a lot, so I need to take his size here. And we're going to cut a t-shirt. I hope he will fit it. It will fit Barry. Not <laughs> it doesn't fit. I know I now know what to do. I cut his arms and his body fits here. We make him uh, here. So yes. A, a little bit more. So and now we give him some arms cut. Here, here's one arm, and here is another one arm. Yeah, that's a nice t-shirt for Barry. So we glue it down. Also this one. Oh, it's a bit so. Barry ha has played outside. His t-shirt is a bit dirty. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna. I'm gonna draw a big B on his t-shirt from Barry. Uh, but Barry also need uh, uh, trousers, so I'm going to cut out some trousers. Okay, glue it down. Here. <laughs> so, here's Barry with his t-shirt and his trousers. And now um, I also like uh, to give Barry a ha hat. So, a party hat, be because maybe Barry has his birthday. Look! <laughs> Isn't that nice? And I'm going to cut out some stripes. Oops. Because a birthday hat always often have some stripes. So, and now I'm going to Oops. I'm going to glue them down. Here and 
another one. So, but this doesn't fit. Then I turn it around and I, I cut these stripes, I cut them off. And now Barry has a nice birthday hat. You see? Okay. Oops. Then I glue it down. And what I also want to do is give him, oops, everywhere glue. <laughs> I want to give him a balloon. So make a circle. Oops. Here. Maybe that's a bit big. So I make it a bit smaller. A birthday balloon. Okay. Here. And he holds it in his hands. Yeah. And maybe give the balloon some eyes and a big smile. So, now it's your turn. And um, you can post it on, on Facebook and I'm looking forward to see your animals and I hope you will have fun with it. And thank you for taking this class.